Virgos, hey y'all, hey, happy hump day. I'm sending you love. You already know the vibes. Let's tap into this energy, okay? This is gonna be a daily message. Let's do a spiritual read in the beginning and then we'll go ahead and do the overall energy. But I wanted to take a look at your blockages and get a message from your God, something that we haven't done in a minute. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna start off with a message from your guides. Shout out to all my subscribers and family members. Thank you guys for the love and support. Everybody who's been taking advantage of the sale on the readings, y'all better go ahead and get your clarity on, okay? We are having a sale, y'all, for Virgo season. It's my gift to you. Happy birthday to all my Virgos who have a birthday today. All right, how do you book your reading for the sale? All right, you book your reading at Closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. If you guys want to use Cash App and book directly through me, you can do that as well. Um, you're going to email me for that information at Closer, the number two, mydestiny, the number one at gmail.com. Or you'll find it below in the description box, I think. Okay, if not, just shoot me an email and I'll get you started. All right, so yes, yes, y'all take advantage of that sale. If you have always been waiting to get a reading and you want more clarity on your own personal situations, go ahead and tap in, y'all. Okay, let's see what's going on with the overall energy. First things first, a message from your guides. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, thank you for giving me clarity, messages of clarity. Truth and guidance for the Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Wherever you have Virgo in your chart, my love. Let's see what your guides have to say. This just popped out. It didn't like flip out or anything. Don't push or force your way through life. It says finding balance even in the dark times will open your heart to the depths of compassion in everyday moments. So basically this card is saying give yourself grace. Don't force yourself. Like make a plan. Take your time. Fill things out and see what really is a great fit for you. Because what works for somebody else might not work for you. It might be a more amazing opportunity available to you. So don't cram. Just take your time. Breathe through it. And give the universe and God a chance to bring into fruition whatever it is that you need to see and what path you need to take. All right. So be easy and appreciate the process. I'm really getting that from this energy right here. So let's see what else from your guides for Virgo. What is here for Virgo? Thank you for your divine protection, Holy Spirit, your love, and your light. Clear messages for the Virgo. So a new chapter. Some of y'all are embarking on a new chapter. Um, you could be just walking, um, taking a walk of life that is brand new to you. Some people are single for the first time in a long time. Some people are walking away from a situation that they've really been dedicated to. But it's time for a new beginning. Somebody is believing in this leap of faith that they've decided to take and believing um, in the possibilities and that there are endless and there's more out there for you. So, um, and then somebody could have a new baby or just something new is happening in your life and you're trying to embrace the change and go with the ebb and flow of life this is saying when things seem to be falling apart be aware that things may be coming together in new ways that suit the next phase of your life even better and sometimes i like to talk when i talk to my children and i have a heart to heart with them and they're adults okay they're not babies but um they still are challenged because they're young adults and life is di different a lot of new beginnings and a lot of things that they have to embrace and understand um and it's changing every day life is evolving and they have their own goals dreams and aspirations but I definitely let them know that when things seem like they're not working, it's probably because God has something bigger and better planned for you. It's a new direction that you need to take. So I teach them in, to em embrace the changes and find the blessing even in the tough times that they're having in life and let it encourage them to be and do better. And I feel like this is exactly what this card is telling you. Sometimes God is guiding you in a different direction because it's something so much better on the horizon for you. But you're going to miss it if you got your head turned the other way, which is something that is not serving you anymore. So just keep that in mind. All right. And that's the underlying energy for the spiritual aspect of your reading. That means it's just for you. Something that can help you evolve and grow. All right. You know what channel this is positive energy acceleration motivation encouragement and excelling excelling to new heights healing energy so it says in energetic pull it says a true master knows that you create through your actions do not hesitate when you feel the energy pulling you follow it fearlessly 
and move worlds. So some of you guys could be feeling that pull to do bigger, to do more, to set the bar higher. And whatever that is that you're feeling is time. This is your confirmation that now is the time. And if you resonate with that, type now is the now is the time down in the comment section so we can touch and agree with each other today, all right, and make mountains move, right? Now is the time for you to expand, expand, expand your knowledge, broaden your horizons, and take that leap of faith that you're being guided to take, all right? For some of you guys, it's a brand new beginning, and it's going to be fruitful. It says there's still time to adjust or start over. Feel like flowing freely through your being, all right? Feel life flowing freely through your being. It says all your wishes can come true and the creative potential of a new beginning again. All right. So it's okay to begin again. I keep getting fresh start. Be fearless. Um, choose on purpose. All right. Feel that energetic pull and follow it. Don't be afraid to step out on faith because that's what really moves mountains and opens new doors. All right. And every millionaire knows that. Every every person that is extremely successful that has been building and growing and seeing seeing life change in a drastic way that is full of abundance and prosperity and new beginnings, um, positions of power and people of power, people that are pouring into your life and helping you grow. Like everybody knows that to do that, you gotta step out on faith. Sometimes you might fall, stumble, or whatever the case may be, but not giving up is the key and continuing to listen to your intuition when it tells you we need to move, we need to grow, we need to do more and do it, right? Make room for the blessings that are coming into your life. You got to make room here. It says create space to welcome positive change into your life. Let go of everything that doesn't align with the future you're creating. Some people want to know what are my blockages? Well, that's just it. If you know that you're planning to do something bigger or you want something more, why hold on to the stale the stalemates of the past and things that keep you stuck and stagnant when you know it doesn't enable you to grow, right? So we got to let go, let God allow our higher selves in to take the driver's seat and move us through these challenges, right? So last but not least, the door is open. Pure intention can open doors in the universe and make the impossible possible it says believe deeply in goodness and watch the magic happen you got this and this is telling me that you have the tools that you need to move forward you just got to believe that you do all right operating your full potential your highest power and if y'all can if y'all saying that i'm nowhere near that i'm just starting things seem so hard i just got out of a situation just continue to believe in yourself continue to make plans set goals create a healthy habit create a healthy routine um and pour into yourself taking all the knowledge that you can on how to be better, how to do more, how to be more. And don't give up on your dreams. Continue to move forward. Let's see what blockages are here that might be stopping you today. What blockages are here that may be stopping my Virgos and all who are drawn to this message today? What blockages need to be moved? What energy needs to be cleared? What do they need to know in order to move forward in a healthy way? If y'all looking for a deeper prayer this morning, y'all, prayer is all over my videos. It's always in the beginning or right before I start the reading of the tarot. So I'm sure you can find that in one of the videos that I've posted, um, especially on Sundays and in the beginning of the week. All right. And if you need motivation, check out our community tab, y'all. I always post motivating messages, songs, everything that you might need to lift your spirits and brighten your day, okay? Let's see. For Virgo, someone rising Venus. What is the blockage? What blockage is a Virgo facing right now? Remembering to be grateful. I'm thankful for all this life and the opportunities that it presents. So ups and downs, round and rounds. Okay, life be life and we know that. But God be God. And I heard that this morning. I thought it was so funny. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to say that. Right? <laughs> because it's true. And I said, God be God. And I like, well, it is a fact. You know what I'm saying? So even in your down times, even in the times of that challenge you and push you to be better, I don't like to say problems because really it's just lessons. And some are tougher than others, but it pushes you to be better. It leads you to greatness, right? It elevates you and it helps you excel to the next level. All right. Without challenges, and without change there's no growth so be grateful even in the down times even in your wilderness season even in the season of learning and development be grateful for the blessings right 
Don't forget to say thank you for just waking up, having your bills paid, having some money in your bank account. It might not be as much as you want, but you're blessed, right? Be thankful if you don't need anything, you don't want for anything, and you might not have everything, but you have enough to make sure that you're good, right? And enough to help somebody else too. Courage. So stop doubting yourself. Believe in yourself. And anybody speaking down to you or making you feel like you can't do something, block them out. Because that's not the energy that you need when you're manifesting and trying to move to the next level. This is saying, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, right? Fearless beings, that's who we are, right? God didn't give you the spirit of fear. That's something that we take on ourselves because when we're challenged and it feels like something is unfamiliar to us, sometimes we don't want to move forward. We start doubting that we can do it and wondering about everything that could go wrong. But remember all the things that went right in your life to get you to this point and challenge yourself, right? Be courageous. So step out on faith. Be grateful for the opportunity to change and grow. You never know what this is leading you to, right? So there's some type of fresh start here for you. What else for Virgo? Let's get one more, y'all. Balance. Balance your mind. Balance your routine. Make time for yourself. Create a, ha a healthy, balanced daily schedule. You know, something that incorporates you taking care of you. This is balancing your feelings. Balancing your, your literal, literally your space. That organized clutter, pow, got to go. Like, make room for the blessings. Make room for the new ideas and the new thoughts. And, you know, you can't focus and think with a bunch of clutter around or imbalance, right? It says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Everything is not going to be perfect, but you're the perfect one for the job to organize, right? And pull some things together. So do that, right? That's you walking in your authority, right? And turn your pain into passion, grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. That's the God honest truth. It teaches you that the next time, because the first thing we say is the next time I get this opportunity, I'm going to do things different. The next time, God, if you just give me one more chance, then I'm not going to do X, Y, Z. And I'm going to make sure I do one, two, three. And I'm not going to do, you know, so let's empower ourselves and encourage ourselves to really keep those promises to ourselves, to the most high, you know, and walk in it. Losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Learn your lessons, right? No need to cry with spilled milk. It's just going to empower you to be greater. You lost something for a reason. So next time you get it, you're going to appreciate it, right? So that's your spiritual message for the day, y'all. I loved it. Oh, my God. That was so empowering and encouraging to me, too. Let's see what's going on in your overall energy. What are my Virgos dealing with today? What's happening in Virgos energy that they need to tackle or face head on. What type of energy is surrounding my Virgos today? Show Virgos what the energy is. What's the message? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo. What's the message? I tell you one thing. Confidence is a muscle that you got to work every day. All the time. You got to encourage yourself. You got to believe in yourself. You got to remember who you are. You got to constantly, all right, die to fear and doubt. You do. If somebody wants to know, like, because people ask me sometimes, how did you get so confident? How did you find a way to believe in yourself? Why do you seem so fearless? And things like that. And it has nothing to do with being better. It has everything to do with knowing better. Because when you know better, you do better. And life is the best teacher sometimes, you know. So just remember that. Push yourself. Just do it. All right, y'all. So when it comes to temptation, all right, and things that weigh you down, things that make you feel like you're shadowing to the background, um, right now your message is to balance your feelings and emotions, your energy, right? Believe in yourself and don't get too over emotional about certain things that happen, getting stuck in the why, how, wondering what to do next and all of those things. Just know that whatever, whatever happens, happen for a reason. And remember that you got the skills, you got the power, you got the encouragement, you know, to move forward and make things happen. So stay your ground in situations that challenge you, right? Don't get over emotional. Don't overreact. Don't do too much. Do just enough, right, to get you out of that situation, past that hump, and then now you put everything that you just went through and learned into motion and make it work for you. 
That's what I'm getting. Right now, you're going through some situations where you need to use your intuition. You feel like you need to make sure that you make the right decision. Make sure that you move and do something with accuracy and precision, right? And I see that here. Movement, choices, and decisions. So God is telling you to use your intuition on this next phase of your life or whatever this endeavor is that you're about to explore, right? Because I feel like patience and planning is necessary here in how you move forward, whatever this is. It's something that you can have. If you stand your ground, there will be a victory, but you definitely have to stand your ground and believe in yourself and know that you, you're more than a conqueror and everything you touch is going to turn to gold. You are the sign of stability, right? You are the sign of prosperity, right? So you have to know who you are and walk in that. Everything is going to work out for your good. Know that. And your faith, you have crazy faith right now. Somebody is stuck in their head trying to figure something out. But your intuition is key. Facing your shadow self, that self-doubt, that negative self-talk, that fear is the answer, right? That's going to get you to the next level that you're trying to get to, right? So let's get the tarot and see why this came out and what this is talking about. Like, what's going on here with the movement, choices, and decisions? I want to know what it has to do with. Let me see how much time we got. Oh, our time looks good. Let's get some energy surrounding this and see what, what's the situation. What's the situation? What's this about? With the movement choices and decisions moving forward. This could have something to do with finances, relationships, just finding mental clarity and patience and balance for yourself. All right. This could also have, have to do with some type of new beginning. And you're trying to set your mind in this new mindset so you can capitalize off whatever this change is. Um, let's see. So with the movement choices and decisions, what's this about? Transformation, changing something. This could be changing your way, changing your circumstances, changing your area, changing things within yourself. But something is dying, dying to the old and rebirthing anew. That's what I'm getting here. Um, and it has everything to do with your mindset and you feeling like now is the time, right? Now is the time to move forward. And this gratitude card is talking about abundance as well. Somebody is definitely going through a rebirth. This winter is going to be a new phase in your life. Some type of new chapter that's going to open up. You hear the birds chirping? I feel like it's going to be a fruitful chapter. But you got to be mentally ready to seize the moment. And, and stand in your self-worth. All right? Be in expectation of these good things happening because something is changing. Right? I see you going through this rebirth. I see you trying to stay patient. I see you trying to believe and keep the faith as things change around you. And I see you trying to use your intuition to figure out how you should move forward. Somebody's even thinking about relocating. Right? Somebody is on a brand new beginning and you're newly single. You're about to be and you're embracing this change using your intuition. But you're struggling a little bit mentally. Right? But you're balancing your heart. You're understanding why everything happened. Okay, this is what you need to do. Balance your heart chakra, not operating too much in your emotions and not giving yourself so much overthinking or standing your head so much that you stress yourself out. This makes you sad, right? So balance this energy that's making you be stuck in your head. Whatever this is, that's taking your time and draining your energy and making you lose focus. Time to get past all that, right? Somebody just needs to encourage themselves and be confident, all right? Because that will kill these limitations and fears. Fears of things not working out. Fear of somebody rejecting you. Fear of you not knowing what to do next. And just move. The only fault in not... Um, when it comes to not knowing what to do next, the only fault in that is not moving forward. Moving forward is something that you know you got to do. So just start there. Make a plan. See how you need to execute it. Write it down. Somebody definitely needs to get a journal and start writing down things that you want to accomplish and what it takes to get there, right? Self-love, creation, and setting your intentions on positive things, right? Positive, Your positive thinking will trump whatever this temptation is every time. Somebody is feeling a pull and it's in the opposite direction of where you should be going. This could have something to do with love for somebody. But it looks like you're putting an end to all that. You're making a dedication to yourself. There will be a rebirth. This winter is going to be the month where you cleanse and you purge. And you start seeing buds, like budding, things budding that you plant. Like maybe that you planted or planned the year before. 
your your last winner is going to be i mean this winner is going to be different from last winner somebody is evolving it's going to be some growth stability harmony and flow yeah stay your ground in this challenging time or whatever this is that's pushing you out of your comfort zone embrace it right because it's going to bring you the stability and harmony and flow that you're looking for let's get the tarot and see what the tarot is saying about all this let's see shout out to my subscribers and my family members i love you guys go ahead and talk to me in the comments let me know how you feeling today how is your day going my love what is going on with my virgos let's see what's up with this energy all right so now we're going to clarify a little bit more so with courage what is it that what is it that this change is doing in virgo's life like what is it that Virgo needs to be courageous about? Finding the inner strength to face fear. So what's the fear? Let's see. What's the transformation? Because somebody's fearing this ending because you don't know what's going to happen. But everything here is telling me that as long as you use your intuition, you'll have balance. And you'll have stability, harmony, and flow in your life. Something is going to get better. Yeah, the angel of balance is here. So we have the five of pentacles, maybe feeling left out in the cold or leaving something out in the cold. Coming in from feeling left out in the cold is here and being able to heal. So somebody is healing from feeling left out in the cold. Some type of challenging situation is being healed in your life. Um, and the angel of temperance is here. Telling you to balance, have self-control, and you're going to conquer whatever this is that you're trying to get through. Somebody is healing from having low finances or something like that, or maybe a loss of your job, or um, just having to pay a huge payout and trying to recover your finances. But with the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, your finances are going to be recovered. With the Temperance card, this is balance and patience to succeed. And with the Three of Cups, it's going to be a celebration. Something is going to work out in your favor. So with this transition, something old dying, I feel like an old way of living, being, or whatever this is, this season that you had to go through, you're healing from that. And with the Three of Cups, this is talking about celebration, joy, reconciliation. This is talking about a joyful event that you get to celebrate with friends and family. Um at some point, you had to stand your ground. And I feel like you know your worth and you're learning from whatever lessons you've experienced. With this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like you're you're embracing this change and you're understanding how to use this sort of truth and to sever ties and to stand your ground. And I feel like that's working for you, male or female energy. This is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like that's how somebody, because somebody is very loving very um somebody is very loving somebody is very nurturing somebody is very giving but i feel like somebody here during this time that you've just experienced in your life whatever the season was that challenged you and pushed you out of your comfort zone i feel like somebody learned that it's okay to be loving and kind but you definitely have to stand your ground so i feel like somebody could even have been standing their ground with the water sign but I feel like, Virgo, this is you that is very loving, kind, nurturing, and giving. And with the Queen of Swords energy, I feel like somebody learned that it's okay to have a kind of a tough exterior. You don't have to be harsh. You don't have to be mean. But you definitely need to defend your feelings, your love, your heart, right? And not let people walk over top of you. So I feel like this is you being direct, standing up for what you believe, setting boundaries on what you're not going to stand for. Somebody did that. I feel like you've been standing your ground here. It's like your self-worth is activated. It's like I'm showing that I do believe in myself. I know I deserve more and I'm going after it. Somebody's saying I'm not afraid to speak up for what is important to me and what I deserve and desire. Um, and with the five of wands, this could be um, coming at a time after some mental conflict or you having an argument, fuss with somebody so much and you finally decided to stand your ground. Somebody saying, I know I deserve more. The Queen of Pentacles, yeah. What's going on with the Five of Wands? Why is the Five of Wands here? You could have had, yes. Yeah. So this is having something to do with family. Some type of mental conflict or standing your ground when it comes to arguments and fighting. The Five of Wands, this is disagreements. But with the Ten of Pentacles, this is talking about things coming together. After you finally did stand your ground. I feel like you had to stand your ground with something of another. 
This could even represent more than one person involved. This could be family drama, conflict, or whatever this is. But um, you could have felt left out in the cold or you could have been leaving somebody out in the cold for a while, distancing yourself from some type of situation. Um, but I see things coming together for you. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, um, Queen of Swords, and the King of Cups. See, this could definitely be a family dynamic or some type of group. Something happening here. Yeah. So it's some type of negative energy or arguing or conflict that you're moving on away from. Find, moving on to calmer waters, conflict resolution, or something of that nature. I feel like the way you stand up for yourself, it kind of triggers people. Right? And with the Seven of Cups and the Page of Wands, I feel like you're enthusiastic about moving forward. Somebody is moving away from this conflict with this family. The King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles could definitely be a partnership, a couple. Um, and even though you love somebody so, so much, you had to stand your ground with this person. And I feel like you're moving on to calmer waters. Ten of Pentacles is the... I feel like that's the route that you're going. You're going for this family dynamic and this stable and secure um, life. And I feel like with the page of wands and the seven of cups, you could be telling me that somebody was holding on to old habits. You're moving away from somebody because of that. Um, you're enthusiastic about the opportunities that are coming towards you. Somebody definitely is single now, I feel. Um, and you're embracing, you're embracing this change. You're standing your ground. And this is bringing you stability, harmony, and a flow. Some of y'all are saying, Empress, this already happened. And I definitely stood my ground. And this definitely changed my life forever. Well, whatever the case may be, as long as you practice this and be mindful of these blockages that are getting in your way, making sure that you're courageous, making sure you step out on faith and believing in yourself, making sure you're using your intuition and creating balance and stability in your life and anything that's coming to challenge that, you block it out. And most of all, make sure that you stay grateful for whatever this is that you're enduring, whether it's good or bad, just be grateful even in the lessons. It's a blessing, right? So just remember that. And this is going to help you move forward in a successful way because I do see luxury. I do see you happy. Um, and somebody is embracing their singlehood. Somebody is fine, okay? And amazing, just like you are. You don't need an addition and you're learning that more and more. But it's okay. If it's meant for you to have it, it'll come to you. But somebody is tired, tired of settling for less and done being second. Right? You're understanding that you're more than that, setting firm boundaries. Thank you guys for being here with me. I'm sending you love, light, and positive energy, and I'll see you on the next video.